and let us all that we can to build a better future. So there we go. All right, folks. We're going to move on now to our next story. And this has to deal with, oh, this is an app that helps you, kind of in theory, that takes a name from a person who you know, would rob from the rich and give to the poor. But yeah, turns out major investing platform hit with data breach. Millions of users affected. Robinhood got hit. Scandal hit investment platform. Robinhood has revealed that the personal data of its millions of its customers was exposed by a data security incident after an, after an extortion that socially engineered a customer support staffer uh, last week. In a blog advisory on Monday, the Silicon Valley-based company disclosed that the unauthorized third party had convinced the employee over the phone to give them access to certain customer support systems. Doesn't that sort of mean that they were partially authorized mm. instead of unauthorized? During the data breach, which occurred on November 3rd, the hacker got hold of 5 million users' email addresses and obtained the full names of an additional 2 million people. This is downright devastating, especially because, again, just a quick reminder... Uh, during the whole thing with uh, Wall Street bets, uh, there were a lot of uh, investors, you know, who couldn't really sell any of their stocks. Mm-hmm. Um, couldn't buy. Couldn't buy, yeah. Couldn't, correction. Couldn't buy because Robinhood was freezing everyone's accounts. There was also an incident where we covered on the show where a young man took his life because the Robinhood app screwed up his account. Mm-hmm. Now, he wasn't in debt. But the way the system was set up, it made it look like he lost more than $10,000. The number is a little bit higher than that. And And every time he was trying to get support from Robinhood, nothing happened. And again, the system failed. He knew it failed. But because he wasn't getting any kind of human interaction and nothing was being done, um, he unfortunately took his life. And actually also ended up making money. Yeah. But he didn't know. He died. He died. And uh, so, yes, and now Robinhood and its millions of users, their data has now been basically been taken away by an unknown party at this point. Um, It really calls into question about Robinhood and their entire way they run their system. This is the third time, well, not even third time. We've covered the Robinhood before. Uh, Again, they're absolute failure. Continuing on, the intruder uh, also apparently accessed additional personal details, including, and this is really scary for a lot of people who are on Robinhood right now, their names, dates of birth, and address, zip codes. Uh, for a smaller group of 310 people. Meanwhile, the company said more extensive account details of 10 customers were taken, but did not specify what those details were. You know what's crazy in this? That Robinhood, that, that's like been like, oh, we don't have to talk about this. Robinhood gave this information out. Yeah. So you can call this person, you definitely can't call this person a hacker, maybe a social engineer call this person, but... If Robinhood, if it's that easy to call up Robinhood and get all the user data from them over the phone, I don't know. I feel like Robinhood has some culpability in this, and they're just like, no, it's not us. We didn't do anything. It's this hacker who didn't hack anything that just took information we gave them. Yeah. According to Robinhood, the criminal then demanded an extortion payment for the stolen information. The blog post uh, post noted that the attack had been contained. The firm said no social security numbers, bank account numbers, or debit cards were exposed by the breach and believed that there had been no financial losses to any customer as a result. By the way, just to let you know, if you have someone's date of birth and you have the address and you can figure out the hospital that they uh, were born in, you can basically guess a social security number. Although the uh, hackers apparently made threats about what uh, they would do with the information, a company spokesperson told Bloomberg that it was not a ransomware attack. The unnamed representative also declined to comment on whether the firm ended up paying the attackers. Robin uh, Hood corporate communications manager Casey Becker told tech news outlet Gizmodo that the company had reached out to the relative, uh, relevant authorities. The blog post noted that law enforcement agencies were aware of the incident while the firm is conducting to investigate the incident with the help of cybersecurity uh, a company mandate. So uh, the company uh, has a spotty record when it comes to customer uh, account safety. Last year, almost 2,000 accounts were compromised in a hack that reportedly saw customer funds being siphoned out. Meanwhile, in 2019, the firm said that a security lapse had potentially exposed improper stored customer passwords and other credentials. Again, 
Robinhood, what's going on? Earlier this year, Robinhood faced congressional hearing after investors sued the firm over market manipulation for freezing a frenzied Reddit-led uh, trading campaign on so-called meme stocks like GameStop and AMC theaters. The company had termed the move a risk management decision and denied that it was influenced by its links to major financial companies. So final note for this story is uh, Robinhood. What kind of organization are you trying to run? Millions of people use your app and with the assumption they thought that all of you were experts. But yet, as we've covered in this article, as we've covered numerous times on Heartlands Media, time after time, there is severe risk for anyone using your app. And that means they're at risk of losing their not only their fi financial security, but also their personal information as well. In this day and age where everything's connected with the internet, there needs to be a real change in leadership and organization at Robinhood. And a real investigation needs to take place into how they are handling the accounts of millions of people that at, at one point, I, don't, I think the trust is gone at this point, but people trusted Robinhood. And this is the reward they get. Daniel. Mm. Yeah, uh, I think I'm going to, I think all I can say is what um, Lee Heller threw in the comments a little ago. If you have a Robinhood account, change your password. If you have an email or any other account that uses the same email and the same password, change those passwords too. And then tweet out at Robin about how unhappy you are. Yeah. But again, Robinhood has a hard time dealing with real people because, again, as we covered as well, um, one young man took his life because the app was screwing up his information and it made it look like he was in debt. And he was asking for help and Robin Hood didn't come there to help him. No one from tech support to help him with his issue. Yeah, and again, I'm going to say it one more time. Robin Hood, the story should be titled Stupid Robin Hood Gives Away User Data to Guy on Phone. Yeah. That's the story. And there's something a little suspicious, too. I mean, one random person calls this person that's Red Robin Hood, gets the information. You would think that there'd be some kind of security. That's what I'm saying. In, like, how, like, how is Robin Hood this training is, its employees yes, exactly. and the people that are in charge of information? Something isn't adding also, up. Also, I got another thing. He called someone at Robin Hood? Right there. All right. Some, something is amiss.